Hey everybody, we've got an Optima WU515 to look at today. This particular Optima was sent in because the replacement lamp they purchased uh, did not work out properly. Allegedly there's some connector damage. I suspect it's the thing that I usually see where the well, it's a bad design for the lamp assembly, honestly, is really what it is. But the uh, connector doesn't go down all the way. People think it's down all the way. It's not, and they fire it up, and it arcs, and it melts. So we're going to see if that's what happened here, or depending if it was caused by the lamp connector or not. If it was a lamp connector, that changes how this repair is going to cost them, honestly. But let's, uh, let's get inside here and see what we have going on. I actually want to take this. Can I take this door off easily? Nah, we'll leave it there. But there's the lamp assembly. Alright, so they... Looks like they did something. I told them not to do anything and just to pack it up as it was and not touch anything and it looks like they didn't listen because when they do that, it prevents me from being able to go after, yeah. This is their fault. That's a shame. I was kind of hoping it was the manufacturer, but... Oh, man, what did they do to this thing? Oh, they put that back in backwards. I love how they didn't listen to me. I said, don't touch anything. But yet, look, they got the housing all bent up. Oh, I got this stuff loose. So, yeah, this is on them. Very frustrating, because I probably could have gotten this pushback on the vendor, but they've obviously taken this housing apart. So I can't really do anything to help them except repair this and charge them for it. Let's see if there's anything else. Make sure they didn't switch the uh, bulb assembly. Because that wouldn't be the... Oh my god, they took it all apart. Oh, I told them not to touch anything. Don't touch anything. Leave it all alone. They didn't listen. So this ran very hot. You can see how that sticker turned pink and that sticker turned pink. They should be white. Oh man. And you can see this is a replacement. It's got the AM on it. They just didn't listen to me. It's just frustrating. I mean, all you gotta do is listen. Just listen. It's simple. I tell you what to do and you listen and then everything works out great. Instead, they have this connector put in backwards. These are keyed. And they have it reversed. Look. So on either side, you got a tab here and a tab here. They're supposed to latch into this bracket. And it's supposed to go this way. There's a big side and a small side. So now, I don't know if this has been wrong since day one. When they tried to plug the lamp in, the lamp plugged in backwards because those connectors are keyed. Well, now it looks like they got them the right direction. I have big side and big side on both, which is what it should be. But, you can see the connector wasn't pushed down all the way. This, this is the problem. If we saw, inside the back of the connector here, if we saw metal sticking out here, that would mean one of the pins came out, but this just wasn't installed all the way, is what it comes down to. Very frustrating. 
very, very frustrating. In fact, they damaged the lamp by taking it apart incorrectly after I told them not to. I mean, they have to know that I'm going to be aware that this is happening. Uh, oh well. So I cut that wire so we can disconnect this. I'll deal with this lamp assembly later. It's not a cheap lamp, so I'm going to see if we can... Uh, I'm going to replace the connector and they'll probably get that back, but for now we're going to look at this. Now before we open it up, I went and grabbed a replacement lamp assembly because I think I may actually send the other one back because it is very abused. This is what it should look like. See the way the wire is routed? They managed to rip all that apart. These should be under there. This should not be bent. Should be like that. Man. And the uh, stickers, clearly. Let's see, can we see any stickers on this one? Here, I'll show you guys. Because it just drives me nuts when people act like a lamp caused the issue when it clearly is operator error or installer error. And you can see that wasn't bent either. So let's put this back together. Now I'm not going to install this lamp assembly just yet. That will be after the connector is replaced. So first things first, let me put this, uh, put these screws back in. People need, when you install a replacement projector lamp, there is actually a lot of responsibility on the owner. The manufacturer can only do so much when you buy a projector you're sort of admitting that there's a certain amount of maintenance that you're willing to take on yourself it's kind of an unspoken agreement that when you replace a lamp assembly for instance you're going to check the manual and make sure you do it right uh, you're going to make sure that your you know the lamp is down all the way and that the connector is seated. That's how it should look when it's plugged in, not how they have it. Um, maybe I'll do a superimposed or a split screen here maybe and we'll show that and where's my phone? I'm going to take a picture So that's what we should have. In fact, let me make them close to the same size so it's easier for you guys to see. But that's what it should look like, like this one when it's plugged in. That space there is the problem. So now we're going to just start taking this apart. This should not be too bad of a repair. I really should just have to pop the cover off and that plug should plug into the ballast, I'm pretty sure. So let's see. And then the hidden screw. See if see if it starts to move. There we go. Top comes off, 
here's our wire running over here. Let's see if you guys can see. It plugs in right here. Right there, that wire. So rather than take all of this apart, I'm going to see if we can just get that out. So let me get this tool up and under there. Let's go. Come on. There we are. get my fingers up under there conveniently so I think we're gonna try something these yeah let's move these then I can get my hand under there better yet let's just take that side off because I want to make sure that's all routed nicely so let's pop out that one. This one. And now, there we go, and that comes off. There we go. All right, so this goes right up and plugs into the ballast. You can splice these if the uh, wire's too short, but if it's better, do it so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. It's better to uh, use a full wire like this instead of splicing if you can help it, but you know, do what you gotta do. Then we'll snug that up. Then this. So remember, wide side goes there, small side goes there. Put our wire in. Let me get the uh, screw. There we go. So now this can go back in. This goes over here, over in this spot. So let's get this screw out. Let me keep that close by because that is going right back in. Let's see, it should be. Pretty sure it's that way. Nope. That way. That's how it goes. Just like that. Uh, I might have to take the connector out though to put the screw in. Let's see if we can get it to tighten with that on an angle. Yep. Oh good. Alright. That's good. And we'll feed these wires in there. And that's good. So let's, uh, yeah, let's put that side and fans back in. All right. So this just snaps back in. And then we'll put our screws back in. Come on. put the uh, screws back in but something I wanted to show you the three screws I took out from holding that gray piece that side piece in are shorter than the screws for the bottom so don't mix them up pay attention to your screw sizes here I'll show you just between these two move that one out of the way get these side by side 
so you can see the other one has like an extra turn or two on it so that one's going back until it's time to put the bottom back on we're going to put these three in now again these are helical they're going into plastic so do the thing where you spin it backwards until it catches the thread they even go in easier like you can feel how easy it is to put them in I forget where I learned about that didn't always know it I'm sure there's plenty of old VCRs out there that had screws going into plastic where the plastics all shredded from years ago anyway let's uh, yeah let's put this back in this one goes here there we go let's see that fits under there then this one, roll it back around, that drops in here, come on, sit all the way down, and then that goes in there, hmm. That came off. Let's get that back on. Let's see, just there we go. And then that little grommet goes in. They're all down. Let's tuck that back up in there. And then that holds the wires. Great. Now we can put the. Actually, let's see how the lamp fits. Okay. So this should just drop straight down. This is the new one, replacement, whatever you want to call it. It is not the one that I took out because the one that I took out has a bad connector. And let's see. Not bad. All right. So this feels kind of funky to me, honestly. Is that causing a problem? Because I go to slide this in. Oh. Oh, and it just drops right in. What were they having issues with? See, look, ready? Uh, oh. Man, this thing's just wonky getting in there. I mean, the housing feels okay, but just the projector. Well, housing's a little twisted, maybe. I hope I didn't cause that when I took it apart. Let me, uh, let me re seat. Make sure those pins are lined up. And I apologize for having to pause my phone there. I had uh, somebody call from uh, Medicare, uh, you know, a scammer. So I like to have fun with those folks, and I, it's better to do it off camera. But anyway, let's see if, my, uh, if that was the issue, if I just didn't quite have the seated right. Yeah, see, drops right in. You know, you have to make sure you line up all the spots but that's in and let me snug these two screws down and then I'll get a picture of the connector so you guys can see what I'm talking about that the connector is seated fully Let's do the flash, even though it's bright enough. Get it real good. And from 
here maybe. Alright. So this one. Hopefully you guys can see that. That's down all the way. That's not sticking up at all. You can see where that is. That's all the way down. So I don't know what they did if they didn't put it in right. Maybe they caught it on this piece and it was cockeyed. I don't know. What I do know is that now this should light up. Uh, lamp is coming on. I see Optima right there. It's coming up nice and bright. Fans are running. No burning smell. No anything bad. So this is fixed. We are. Uh, this looks real good. I'm actually going to get a picture for the uh, owner. Oh, let me turn that flash off. And I want a picture of that connector. I didn't realize this was a much better angle, especially with it lit up from the inside. Alright, this looks great. It's nice and bright. Let me turn it off. And then we will put the top back on. And then I will get it set up for the rest of its testing. really not much to do here. We just I'm gonna set the top back on. Just give it a little squeeze. Get all those clips back in place. And we'll go back over to here. Make sure. Oh. Now we just have to put those screws back in. So let's do that. Did you hear that second pop? That was the screw dropping into the proper threads. In. Let's flip that back over. That noise, that's the uh, clip handle. There we go. Now, now the other noise, that's that little slider for the vent right here. So depending on the orientation of the projector, these slide back and forth. And that's what you're hearing. Oh, wait. Oh, you get the idea. Now, we just need to put the door back on. And then I will wipe it down. And we'll give it a final test. And to put the door back on, we have to pop these back down in there. And I'm just going to do that. And just give them a... Oops. Just give them a little push. <clears throat> Man, that's actually uh, a little more difficult than I expected. Come on. 
There we go. There's one. And, oops. Come on. There we go. That could have gone badly if I wasn't more careful. So that side pushes on the switch. So once I go in like that, that switch is being pushed on. Now let's tighten up the screw. And this one just has to be snug. Don't over tighten it. Remember, don't wipe the lens with that stuff unless you want to have to replace the lens. Just wipe this all down. Oops. All right, that looks good. Wipe this little ledge down and then around the lens and then front of the lens but 100% not the lens. There we go. All right, let's go set it up and see what it looks like. And again, excuse the blueness. I'll try to correct this in uh, post-production. White balance is showing me blue for some reason. Uh, I like this camera, but I wish I could get the dang white balance better. But anyway, picture's looking great. Um, it doesn't quite all fit on the screen here but it is really nice. Uh, this video up here now is from a channel called Action Box that I found the other day. Um, they make some super cool homebrew CNC machines, uh, EDM machine, um, all sorts of cool stuff like that. So if you haven't seen these guys before, check them out. I, uh, I'm blown away by some of the stuff they came up with. Uh, an injection molding machine, a plastic recycling machine. Uh, one of the other hobbies I'm into is 3D printing and manufacturing. Not even hobby, I use it for jobs sometimes too. But these guys work on some neat stuff and design some neat stuff. So my plug of this video is Action Box. I'll put a, a link to their channel down in the uh, description. Um, but picture looks great. Uh, I'm calling this good. Connectors replaced lamp is installed everything is happy I'm gonna let this video run and a few others once I have a few hours on this I'll call it good to go and uh, yeah pretty sweet so if you have any problems with your Optima WU515 or any of the similar models that I listed in the description go ahead and put your question down in the comment section if you need a projector lamp that will not melt your connector if you install it properly Again, go ahead and check the uh, description. I'll have a link in there as long as a coupon code to save you some money. Um, and yeah, if you don't subscribe to my channel, go over and hit that subscribe button. I think it's over there. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button too. Leave me a comment. Let me know you watched. Apparently that stuff helps, whatever that means. It gets you know the algorithm going and shows my stuff to more people. Doesn't cost you anything. Helps me out. You know, do me a solid. But really, most importantly, as always, thank you for watching.